Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Welcome to ninth lecture um, And in this lecture We will learn how to calculate Investment and return Or return on investment, ROI And we will see how fit in tariff is calculated and its concept and we will go through a sample case right let's just see first what is investment and return right in order to implement any green HVAC system we, you cannot simply just install it or decide it right away you have to first calculate um, what what is the sunk cost which is the system cost um, sunk cost is all uh, related components cost for example for solar photovoltaic system we have cost for solar module, modules, brackets, framework, um, controller, diverter, regulator, inverter or maybe you will need to install um, some roof area because you do not have enough space to install the solar photovoltaic and you have to see what is your annual gain to calculate your net annual profit and you also have to know what is your cost of investment because in order to calculate the net annual profit you need to first know the cost of investment and your annual gain so that you can so that you can um, see uh, or I mean you can uh, see what is your net annual profit by minus by uh, calculating cost the difference of cost of investment and annual gain cost uh, sorry, annual gain minus the cost of investment is equal to your net annual profit. And the maintenance cost, it should not be included in your sunk cost because the maintenance cost is actually part of cost of inv investment, your money out. The annual gain means your the money in or gain is overall increase in business net worth for example um, estimated sales increase your gain through efficiency for example your um, new system is um, efficient uh, highly efficient compared to the existing um, system and the gain through efficiency will um, indirectly or actually directly uh, converts to monetary gain right and stock value increase and among other costs of investment or money out is from um, whatever you have invested um, f interest costs if there is interest for your uh, loan repayment then it is part of cost of, in of investment or you will have uh, loss of efficiency increased overhead or labor costs um, if there is suddenly increased tax by the government stock value decrease and all of this is your cost of investment 
and you have to count in every incentive or for example for a green um, system there is tax exemption from the government for you t um, because you are investing in green system so you have to count in everything and as we all know green technology is now favored for us in Malaysia um, and to promote this um, the government introduced fit in tariff previously and now we have net energy metering which I will be explaining later for selling electrical energy generated by any renewable energy uh, any renewable um, energy powered system for example photovoltaic system and by knowing all this you can actually calculate your payback period for your um, several alternate alternatives of your green system for example you have system a system b and system c you have to calculate your payback period um, and the system which has the shortest payback period is um, will be will be chosen as as the installed system and what is payback period payback period is the duration or year taken to get all your money back easily said or investment overall uh, investment back and at the point at for example the payback period is six years and after six years 6.1 then the profit you will start collecting profit all right let's see an example if your system has an initial cost um, f which is about hundred thousand so the initial cost is also known as sunk cost so the system the system cost is hundred thousand ringgit and the return on investment after two years is ten thousand which is not since still not hundred percent of your investment um, and this ten thousand is the total net gain for for two years and if you calculate ten thousand over hundred thousand which is the initial cost times hundred percent then you will have 10% which means after 2 years your system has got 10% uh, from the investment alright so you will get your 10% of your money back the payback period is still unknown therefore you have to uh, further calculate the gain, the net gain, until it exceeds hundred thousand, where the system starts to make profit. Only then you will know what is the actual duration of your payback or payback period. Okay, let's see this example. In year one, for example, you have to first calculate all. Um, cost of investment so whatever you you give away your money you have to calculate it for example you you use uh, your money to pay the loan and its interest for the first year for example 50,000 and for maintenance cost for that year is 10,000 so you have to add up this um, to to know your total cost of investment for that year which is 50,000 
plus 10,000 you will have 60,000 and the next is uh, you have to calculate your total brutal gain you have to first calculate your electrical bill reduction from feet which means you will get saving for yeah. right again it it's mean it means that you will get saving from the fit in tariff so your electrical bill will not be as much as the previous month so what of or previous months in the previous year so whatever savings that you have or also uh, aka the reduction of your electrical bill you have to add up for that year and let's say the electrical bill reduction uh, for that year is 25,000 and the annual tax exemption from the government on your green device is 25,000 for that year that means your brutal gain your brutal gain is um, the addition of 25,000 plus this 25,000 if you have other sources of um, income then you have to add row here so that you can uh, add up everything and you have your brutal gain so your total brutal gain for the first year is 50,000 and to calculate that net annual gain is by subtracting the total cost of investment from the total brutal gain so whatever you gain wherever you have as an income minus for whatever you have um, you have you uh, use I mean whatever money that going out so 50,000 minus 60,000 that means you will have minus 10,000 as your net annual gain all right what what's with the second year you do the same process and in the end you have plus 20,000 so to get your annual gain net annual gain after two years you will have to add up this amount so minus 10,000 plus 20,000 you will have plus 10,000 that means you after two years you already have your 10% of your investment so you have to calculate until you will have plus 100 thousand and you will see in what year you will have that uh, hundred thousand ringgit as your uh, repayment for initial cost and if your system creates more than hundred thousand that means it starts to create profit if the profit is um, I mean if the return on investment is after eight years um, it is not the system is not recommended to be installed because um, actually from uh, after eight to twelve years then the system uh, tends to be damaged already at the end of its um, lifetime so it is not uh, recommended to install it even though um, the government will pay you for 20, 21 years but the system is gone already if the return on investment is before um, year 8 then you can still consider um, to install it 
Right, this table is actually the renewable tariffs tra table in Malaysia, which is proposed for 2011. As you can see here, um, solar photovoltaic, there are for certain capacities, your, the government will pay you um, certain amounts of money per kilowatt hour. For example, if you install less than 4 kilowatt, then the government will pay you 1 and 23 cents per kilowatt hour. And uh, the government will pay you for 21 years. But Please bear in mind there is degradation rate, which means in the first year for for the capacity less than four kilowatt, the government will pay you one ringgit and twenty cent per kilowatt hour. But in the second year, the government will only pay you um, ninety two percent from 1 ringgit and 23 cent which is less than 1 ringgit and 20, 23 cent and the third year um, is uh, the government will pay you 92 percent from the 92 percent of 1 ringgit and 23 cent and so on and there is also bonus for certain thing for example there's bonus for rooftop if you install your PV on rooftop the government will pay you 26 cent per uh, 26 point 26 ringgit per kilowatt hour in the first year and for a second year and so on there is degradation rate minus 8% which means you will get only 92% from 26 cent for following years following year right there is also for bonus for building integrated photovoltaic there is also bonus for local modules if you buy from local manufacturer and there is also bonus for local inverters if you use inverter which is made by local then you will get another one cent um, per kilowatt hour in the first year there is also um, tariffs for biomass biogas mini hydro but it is to be bear in mind that in 2020 there is no more fit in tariff there is only net energy metering but once you are approved for um, net energy metering scheme you can actually apply to convert your NEM or net energy metering to fit in tariff provided that you still uh, you manage to get the quota for fit all right return on investment um, you can calculate it as gross net and also percentage returns so whatever you we have calculated before it is in percentage but actually return on return on investment there is two types of return on investment one is tangible and another one is intangible tangible is something you can see for example monetary um, return on investment in form of money uh, intangible benefits in form that you cannot see for example you spend two thousand dollar to send a Christmas gift to your best customers you might not generate direct sales from that investment but you might keep them as customers for the next year which means they will buy something from you in the next year so that is something intangible
something that you cannot see directly right so um, uh, tangible um, for example if you buy one thousand dollar of inventory and sell the inventory for five thousand so your gross return on your investment is four thousand uh, to get your percentage of return on investment the calculation would be five thousand minus one thousand which is four thousand divided by one thousand as your sunk cost um, that means 4,000 over 1,000 you will have 4 fulls 4 times your investment which is um, if you times 100% then you will have 4 times 100% which is 400% written on your investment but um, this is gross return if you want to calculate the net return you will have to um, subtract um, for example tax and whatever um, cost of investment that you have to pay from that amount um, so that you will get your net return on investment all right okay so actually why do we need to calculate return on investment actually um, return on return on investment um, helps you to decide which alternatives is the best for example you have a uh, tree system as an option as the options and you will have to decide uh, which one to be installed then you can calculate return on investment first um, as a first step so that you can decide which system will give you the most profit all right so the alternative with the highest return on investment is actually um, generally a good prediction for planning the direction to take with the additional investment in your business so let us see how to calculate return on investment so i've listed here four steps to calculate return on investment in percentage I believe you can follow it because we have already seen it in the previous examples first you have to estimate all the gains that you will get from the business or from the investment and this included any um, estimated sales increase gain through efficiency of the system stock value increase and overall increase in your business net worth add all these amounts together and we call this as gain from investment and the second step is to calculate the true cost of investment this including um, the amount of your investment the sunk cost, the interest cost, the loss of any loss of effic efficiency, um, increase overhead, you have to pay your worker or labor costs, um, any increase in tax, um, any decrease in stock value, and overall we can say you have to calculate the decrease in your business net worth and add all these amounts together and we call this as cost of investment and you can calculate you can calculate the projected net profits after taxes which is uh, which is which uses um, both values that we have mentioned previously gain from investment and also the cost of investment 
so the net profit after tax is simply gain from investment minus cost of investment and the difference result we call it as net profit after taxes and to calculate return on investment we have this net profit after taxes over divided by cost of investment times 100% and you will get your return on investment in the previous example for example after two years we um, divided the net profit after taxes over the cost of investment after two years times 100% you will have 10% of return on investment Right now we will see the fit in tariff um, there are three subtopics the first one is the fit concept or fit in tariff concept you can actually um, see the website from SEDA Malaysia seda.gov.my and you get these sources okay first we want to see what is fit fit in tariff or Malaysia's fit in tariff um, obliques distribution licenses um, or known as DLs uh, as short form distribution licenses um, is uh, companies that are holding the license to distribute electricity for example we have TNB in Malaysia SESP NUR so the TNB needs to buy from the fit in approval holders or known or short form is its short form is uh, FIA F I A H so buy the TNB buy from FIA whatever electricity that is produced from renewable resources and sets a fit rate so how much money will be paid uh, from TNB to FIA uh, FIA is a fit in approval holder what is FIAH or FIA it is an individual or company who holds a fit in approval certificate issued by SEDA for example you apply and you you uh, uh, your application is approved by SEDA Malaysia then you are fit in approval holder so TNB will pay to you the holder is eligible to sell renewable energy at a fit rate so if you approve uh, you your application is approved that means you you are eligible to sell renewable energy at fit rate Okay, so TNB will pay for renewable energy supplied to electricity grid for a specific duration. Um, if you we if you still remember in the table or fit table just now, um, the government will pay you for twenty one years. And TNB will pay you for twenty one years. And by guaranteeing access to the grid and setting a favorable price per unit of renewable energy, the fit mechanism would ensure that renewable energy becomes viable and sound long-term investment for companies, industries, and also for individuals like you, just like you and me. So let's see um, briefly the history of fit in tariff so renewable energy and SEDA acts 2011 in April 2011 it did not happen by chance and it began as early as 2004 in Malaysia and in 2011 the years of effort 
has finally culminated in the passing of two laws related to the sustainable energy. Okay, there are um, milestones that leads to the implement implementation of uh, fit in tariff in Malaysia, but I'll show you just um, in a glimpse because I believe any history you can uh, read it later. So it starts with um, Malaysia f Building Integrated Photovoltaic Project MBIPV if you ever heard uh, in 2004 and it is submit, uh, submitted as a brief document to UNDP or GEF which introduced the fit in tariff for the first time as possible one possible renewable energy policies for consideration so this is about renewable energy policy and the chronology continues until Two thousand um, until October two thousand ten, the fit in tariff is incorporated into national budget two thousand eleven um, in paragraph thirty four. If you want to check, and in economic transformation program, which is stated in chapter six in uh, Malaysian uh, plan at that time, tenth Malaysian plan. And in 2011, it uh, the fit in tariff is implemented in Malaysia. All right. So, what are renewable energy resources or renewable resources? Actually, renewable resources means that the resources of energy is recurring. You whatever you have yesterday, you can have it today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and it is non-depleting resources for example you have biomass biogas and small hydropower in Malaysia and soto, uh, solar photovoltaic and um, the renewable resources is set out in the first column of the schedule of the Renewable Energy Act in 2011. And these um, renewable resources, which is biomass, biogas, small hydropower and photovoltaic, these are the sources that is covered by fit-in tariff in this act. Right now we want to see a sample case. So if you are an you uh, you are as engin an engineer, a HVAC engineer, you are required to design a HVAC system for a green building which uses gasifi gasifier as your heat generator for your HVAC system. And the generated heat will heat up water in a boiler which will result in steam generation and the the steam uh, it the steam generation has 20% of efficiency and the steam will then turn a steam turbine which is connected to an electric generator and therefore it generates uh, electric lah, electricity And the required biomass system capacity is uh, 15,000 megawatt and all of its components are imported. This biomass system operates um, 12 hours per day. And cost for all components to complete the system is 5,000 kilowatt. Right, so I'll make it simple for you to understand. So, if the system uses gasifier, that means, um, in this case, um, 
so it is it is also written here the system uses biomass as the source so if you check the table that I've shown you just now um, at the table you should see at the column of biomass and the capacity is 15,000 megawatt so you can see there how much will TNB pay for you for per unit uh, will pay you for uh, I mean will pay you per unit kilowatt hour and you can see uh, also if if there's any bonus that you can get for your system but uh, in the question it is already stated that all of it components are imported it is not made in local so bonus for the components I believe um, you will not get any bonus for your system and this system operates for 12 hours per day you actually you can actually calculate from here um, how many hours uh, does your system operates um, for for a year you can you can just calculate 12 hours times 365 um, days per year and the cost for all components to be co to complete the system means the sunk cost of the system is 5000 per kilowatt that means uh, you have to calculate um, 15 megawatt is 15 thousand kilowatt so 15,000 kilowatt times 5,000 is your actual is uh, is your actual sunk cost for the system for the 15 megawatt system so the question asks you to evaluate total system costs um, without considering system tolerance factor so just ignore it so just uh, calculate from whatever is stated here and estimate the total money that can be saved from paying the electric bill in five years by using the table that I've shown you just now you can refer it in slides letter and please investigate the payback period in year count not in percentage but in year count in what year of your 15 megawatt biomass system installation and please justify if the biomass system is recommended to be installed all right for the first um, question to evaluate the total system cost okay like I said for one kilowatt you will have to pay 5000 for the system and if there is 15 megawatt which is equals to 15000 kilowatt then you will have to multiply the 5000 with 15000 that means you will uh, have some cost of 75 million ringgit and for B please estimate the total money that can be saved from paying electrical bill in five years okay first you have to see um, your system is by bi uh, biomass biomass 15 megawatt that means in this row um, the government will pay you 29 cent ringgit per kilowatt hour so there you go you will have your first 29 cent and check out from for any bonus okay there is bonus for gasification your system use gasification so you will get another two cent per kilowatt hour for your system there you go you have your two cents here and 
um, you got another bonus which is for your uh, steam generation that has higher efficiency than 40 uh, 14% so you got another one cent so all together so you can check for another bonus if it relates with you local manufacturer no for a bonus for municipal solid waste no you didn't use for uh, municipal solid waste right and all together add up all this you will have 32 cent or 0 0.32 ringgit per kilowatt hour for your system for the first year and for biomass system there's minus five uh, 0 0.5 percent that means in second year you, you the government will not pay you 32 cent per kilowatt hour but the government will pay you 99.5 percent times 0 0.32 ringgit per kilowatt hour and for second year you will have 0 0.3184 cent per kilowatt hour and for subsequent year um, it's also mi uh, minus 0 0.5 percent that means um, the TMB will pay you 99.5 percent from 0 0.3184 cent per kilowatt hour and there you will have 0 0.3168 cent uh, or ringgit per kilowatt hour and you can calculate it further for year 4 and year 5 the same process with the same process and now you can calculate a kilowatt hour times fit in tariff with annual degradation rate of 5% you will have your annual savings in um, ringgit lah, in ringgit so now um, we know that we have 15,000 kilowatt system or 15 megawatt system but we want to calculate it in kilowatt hour so we convert it uh, now we have 15,000 kilowatt times 12 hour of operation times 365 days in a year times whatever are paid to you um, whatever uh, rate uh, paid to you which is in this case 0 0.32 cent as it ringgit per kilowatt hour and you will have 20 uh, 20 million and 24 thousand ringgit for the first year or also uh, in in short form is 20 uh, if if you convert it to million then it is 21.024 million for the first year so just follow the same calculation for the another year for example second year 15,000 kilowatt times 12 hour times 365 days times 0 0.3184 ringgit per kilowatt hour then you will have 41.943 million for the second year and if you want to calculate the total money that can be saved from play from paying electric electrical bill or actually it's also um, the reduction in your, in your electrical bill in five years you just add up all of um, all of these figures oh I'm sorry here uh, in the second year it is not 41,000 point nine four three million this is al already the accumulation of uh, 25.024 million with plus the 20.91888 uh, 
zero million. So this is the uh, the total for two years, the total savings for two years. This is the total savings for three years. This is the total savings for four years, and this is the total savings for five years. So the calculation um, you can refer here. So the figure for second year is this. Third year is this. And for the subsequent fourth and fifth years is uh, this. So these are the figures that we we are looking for. Uh, this the total savings for five years is one hundred four point zero six nine million. For uh, from this um, biomass system. Alright, for the third question, investigate the payback period in year count of 15 megawatt biomass system installation and please justify if the system, if the biomass system is recommended to be installed. Right, so first we know that our sunk cost or initial cost is 75 million and if you see the uh, annual total savings I uh, see the accumulation here um, in year 3 it is 62.75 million which is still does not achieve um, 75 million but in year 4 we have total savings of 83.465 million and 75 million is in between uh, is between these values between 83 and also 62, 62 million and we know our payback period is between year 3 and year 4 so to know the exact payback period in year and month so we do the interpolation Okay, so 83 million minus 62 million over 12 months and we, we have this 1.72575 and between um, and do the interpolation between 75 million our sum cost minus uh, 62 million can divide it divide it by um, whatever we have just now 1.72575 and the result is seven months and we know it is more than three years so the payback period is three years and seven months so now you can decide whether your system is recommended to be installed or not um, and you can refer the table uh, to know how many years the government will pay you the fit-in tariff and if you refer to table 11 just now um, for biomass system TNB or government will pay you for 16 years and the payback period is only short is 3 years plus so you can say that the system is recommended to be installed because the government pays for the tariff for 16 years and the system starts to make profit since the 4th year since in the 4th year and this uh, payback period does not exceed eight years which means um, the system is still healthy in the early years so it will not uh, supposedly uh, damage or anything so overall it is recommended to be installed because it's uh, make it makes profit since year four and the government will pay you for 16 years and it is still uh, the system is 
still in good condition for this year for this four years all right so thank you see you in the next video